you'll see the weekly agenda. Each week, teachers will update this, their assignments on this link, and you'll be able to see all of your child's assignments. So you would look for their teachers. If you notice, some teachers post their information directly onto the document. Others have different links, like if you click on Ms. Siegler's link, it will take you to that week's agenda. There's other teachers who have a list of the students' assignments. And now these are just the assignments. You can click on the Google Classroom code for each classroom for more details. Okay. If you go back to our website, you'll always see the most updated announcements posted here, including our Irving resource lines. So we opened up three different lines for you to reach out to us with any questions or concerns or if you want to reach out to any teachers. If you scroll down, you'll see this big red button. If you click on it, it'll take you to our most updated information. And this includes who you would reach out for technical support, it will also include um, enrollment information. Maybe you have questions on 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 enroll on scheduling, or or um, you have questions about how we run the weekly log or where our classroom Google links are. So all this information is here, including um, eighth grade information on panorama pictures, grades, elective forms, etc. And we update this um, on a regular basis. If you go back to our homepage, you'll see here on the sideline. You have all the links to all the different um, sections of um, resetting your LAUSD password, going into Schoology to log in. If you click here on our resources for home learning, you will find our weekly meditation link. And you will also find all the Google Classroom codes for all our classes. Some classes decide um, that they're going to post on Schoology, so you'll also see that. You'll see how Ms. Mayer's right here. It says see Schoology. If not, they'll be using Google Classroom. Those are our two uh, preferred methods of delivering instruction through our distance learning. Okay. Now I wanted to show you what it looks like when you go to Schoology. When you click on Schoology student login, it will prompt you and ask you, are you a parent, student, or employee? If you use the student link, you'll be able to see assignments just like your child sees them. And you can also log in using their um, LAUSD email and password. All our students are familiar with this password and email because we would use it on a daily basis at Irving. That's the best thing about when we were at Irving, we were already incorporating virtual learning, so students are pretty used to those platforms. When you click on courses, you'll see your child's classes. These are my classes listed, but you would see their classes. And when you click on them, it will take you to the main page. So this is what it would look like. You would see the different assignments listed for that week. You can also see updates and where your teacher communicates with them. Um, I'm gonna show you this one. If you look at this class, this is a science class. If you click on materials, it will show all the different materials for the week. Click on each folder. It will give you more information on the assignments and how they're turned in. Um, when you're on Schoology and you're working on an assignment, your child will click on it. And if an assignment is due on this forum, you will see right here on the side. Let me show you one that has. See, this will direct them to um, Brain Pop. We use Brain Pop a lot, by the way. And all our students are familiar with that format as well. So this teacher doesn't collect them um, on Schoology, but if, if there was an assignment due, you will see it on the sidelines, just like you see it here. See how it tells them their calendar and what assignments are due? Students can follow this. Now, if you're using Google Classroom, you would use the same code. You go on to you go to Google Classroom, you type in your child's email and password, LUSD email password, and I enrolled myself in another class so you could see. On the stream, you will see the different announcements the teacher is posting each, each day. But if you click on classwork, this is where the assignments are listed. 
And in order to see the details of the assignments, you have to click on the assignment and then it will show you. So this teacher has um, a video. It's a video lecture and a lot of our teachers are doing video lectures, Zoom lectures, um, or posting notes on Google Classroom. Here's the instructions to the assignment. And when you click on these instructions, they'll pop up. Um, just for the leg brace. If your child has to work on an assignment, the student will click on the assignment and will directly take them to Google Classroom and they will work directly on this document. So they could type into this document and the teacher will be able to see this. For example, um, I'm gonna go to, a student can be working on their Google Doc and their teacher can be sending them comments during um, their time live on Google Doc. And a lot of our teachers are using their service hour, or their office hours um, to go online and see what students are working on and commenting. Uh, so it's, it's, it's a really awesome platform because you just click comment and the child can ask questions or the, or the teacher can submit a question or, or give advice on how to enhance their work. And everything is logged on the site and you'll be able to see the communication that your child is having with their teacher, okay? So that's a really um, fast overview of all the different resources we have online. Um, please reach out to us. We have our resource line, whether you want to reach directly to a teacher or you would like more information on how to help your child during um, our distance learning. Uh, we're here to help. Thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Go, babe.